GTA 5 was released in 2013, and soon enough the game would be celebrating its 10th year of existence. However, due to some news that came out the other day, we might be celebrating something more wonderful for the gaming world that finally puts GTA 5 into its well-deserved rest. Let's talk about some GTA 6 leaks. So you've probably already heard about this by now, it's all over trending on Twitter, there's hundreds of videos, it's been shared around the Discord servers, and I think I even got a letter about it in the mail. Uh, wait, no, that's a court summons. Must have been all the cars they stole. In GTA, in GTA, mostly. For obvious reasons, I can't show you the clips or any of the full video of the leak, as I like not having Take-Two breathing down my neck and terminating my channel, but what I can do is point you to the library link on screen now, where you can watch the full hour-long video in its entirety for yourself. Now, some key things to note about this leak, for one, is it's seeming pretty legitimate judging by how proactive Take-Two and Rockstar have been in terms of scrubbing this from as many places as possible. Furthermore, with much of what is being shown in the video, it very closely resembles a far more polished GTA V, but with the handling and engine style of Red Dead Redemption 2. There are a total of about 80 or 90 clips that have been shared around, mostly showing nothing significant of note, but a few show some quite interesting and noteworthy things. To name a few, the ability to drop weapons has finally come to the game. Long gone are the days of your newbie level 30 pal, constantly needing to go to ammunition and restock. Just toss him a Draco, tell him to shut up and start shooting. Adding on to the weapon system, and going back to our previous mention of the Red Dead Redemption 2 engine, you can now have a weapon in your hands, as well as one on your back, that you can quickly switch between the two. Oh, and when you inevitably get shot, the blood looks quite real. This one's sure to have all the worried mothers screaming that little Timmy got inspired by the bloody GTA 6 when he went on his rampage. Now, one thing in particular stands out that confirms that if this is GTA 6, it will be taking place after the events of GTA 5, or at least somewhere within that timeline. There is a clip that mentions Jay Norris, who you may remember as the man who had his head blown open by a phone. Eh, well, yeah, there goes the monetization for this video. Well, the clip states, quote, Nah, man, Jay Norris is dead. Don't you remember? Now, if there is one surefire thing that makes me believe that all of this is real, it's the notice from Rockstar Games themselves. Earlier today, they tweeted out this. Now, if this doesn't confirm everything we're seeing is true, I don't know what else could. Now, all this being said, obviously, I believe the leaks. And to say that GTA 6 is a thing that will happen or is currently in the works? Maybe. There's enough here that shows too much that has been changed from GTA 5 for it just to be some early backrooms footage, and enough of integration from the Red Dead 2 engine that leads me to believe that it's some combination of the current GTA 5 engine with bits and pieces taken from Red Dead 2 to really bring improvements and to spice everything up. It certainly is a rock star move just to snag features from their old games, throw them into the new one, stir it up and say, hey, look, it's a new game. Not to mention, with the tweet from Rockstar, this kind of ties it all together and confirms it, at least in my opinion. Personally, I'm hopeful. As fun as GTA 5 was, and to the degree that it still is, GTA 6 will take us all by storm and bring new life to a once lively and fun series that we all can enjoy. What do you think? What would you like to see from GTA 6? Do you think the leaks are real? If not, let me know in the comments below. I always love hearing your opinion about the topics of the videos, as well as the videos themselves, so please do leave a comment about that below as well. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.